Hey, it's Ryan with Parts Doctor, and today I'm going to show you to replace the motor control module on this Fisher & Paykel washer. Need a Phillips screwdriver? Let's get started. The motor control module controls a lot of different functions on the washing machine, including the drive motor, the drain pump, and the water valves, and much more. If it fails, it can cause a wide variety of issues. For this repair, unplug or disconnect power to the washer. The first thing we'll need to do is start by removing the lid. To do this, open up the lid, grab both sides of it, and pull it straight up to release it and set it aside. With the lid removed, we'll next remove the two Phillips screws here and here on the back side of the control panel. With the two screws removed, you can now rotate the control panel forward and disconnect this electrical plug. Pull down on the retaining tab while pulling out on the plug to remove it. Now set the control panel aside. Before disconnecting any of the wires, take a quick picture to reference later if necessary. Start on one side of the circuit board and start disconnecting the wires and working your way around. To release this grounding wire, depress this locking tab and pull on it to release it. If you can't reach one of the locking tabs with your finger, use a small screwdriver to help you depress it while you remove it. Now we'll disconnect the pressure hose, squeeze the clamp, and move it up. Now remove the hose out of the retaining clips, and then pull on it to release it. This may require some force. This hose is what senses the water level inside of the tub of the washer, so it's very important that this hose is connected securely and it doesn't have any holes or leaks in it. If it does, it could flood your house. Now we'll need to disconnect the wires from the retaining clips to release the wiring harness. Now we can release the control module by depressing this locking clip and pulling up on the front of it, then tilting it up and out to remove. If you have a bad motor control module and you need to purchase a new one, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to make sure that you're searching with the model number from the tag on your washing machine to make sure you get the correct part. To install the control module, start by aligning the two tabs on the back with the two openings on the back of the washer. With the two back tabs inserted, you can now rotate the front down until it snaps in place. Next, start by routing your wires through the retainers. You may want to reference your photo from earlier to make sure that everything goes back into the correct locations.
Start on one end and reconnect the electrical plugs. Work your way around. If necessary, reference your photo from earlier to make sure that they go in the correct spots. Most of them have notches on them so they can't go in the wrong locations, but it's always good to be sure that you have it going in the right spot. Next, reconnect the electrical plug from the control panel. Then, align these notches with the openings down here. And rotate back into place. Then, reinstall the two Phillips screws. And finally, install the lid. Make sure that these are facing up. Line the notches on the lid. And push down to lock it in place. With everything put back together, plug the washer back in and test it out to make sure that everything's working properly. So that's it for this video. If you learned something new, hit that like button. And if you like fixing things, please consider subscribing.